Hey, it's Doug here from the O-Scale Hauler. Today we're going to take a look at the locomotive hauler. If you're looking for transportation or storage ideas for your O-Scale trains, whether they're two rail or three rail, this is the ticket. The locomotive hauler. It sells for 30 bucks. You can find them on my website, oscalehauler.com. The, the uh, locomotive hauler comes complete. Three compartment tray, the base, the lid, 12 foam strips, four for each compartment, and six foam blocks to put in between. Now how I load it, I mean it's an empty box, it's, it's basic, it's basic stuff here, common sense. I'd take all the foam out except for the bottom and leave the bottom in here. Now, I also sell a set of three wood bases with the grooves already cut in there for you. These are particularly useful for high-end uh, brass equipment, any of the new uh, like ES44 diesels from Lionel or MTH with the MU hoses on them because when you put them down in here, the weight sinks down in the foam and those fine detail parts like MU hoses, sanding lines on your steam engine will get caught and snagged in this foam and, and bend or break off. A lot of you guys are finding your MU hoses are broke off right out of the Lionel box. Well, that's what these bases prevent is stuff like that. I use them in all my locomotive boxes whether they have those details or not. They uh, help support the weight a little bit better. Although this is a very heavy duty box, it will support two Vision Line Big Boys, two cab forwards, whatever you got, it'll fit in here. I use the bases on top of the foam. You'll have plenty of room. Um, I like the foam on the bottom just because it gives you a little extra padding between whatever you set the box on. So I just put the wood right over the bottom piece of foam, set them in there like that. Then take your engines, GS4, whatever you're going to put in here. Like I said, it'll hold a big boy. Set your wheels right down in there, move it back and forth, you'll feel it drop right in. I take the tenders and put them in the middle, it'll hold two. Usually, unless they're like uh, the big Santa Fe tenders, they won't hold two, they're too long. Same thing, I just put them in there, I put the couplers towards the outer end of the box. I'll take my other tender, slide it in there. You see the tenders, obviously, they roll with the grooves, that's where the blocks come in handy, is they'll hold them in place. I'll take another engine, the 8444. We'll put it down in here, set it in there, and then you take your foam strips and just place them inside of each, each tray compartment. And that's what prevents your stuff from rolling back and knocking back and forth on the sides. Same here, a lot of times your uh, sun shades, you have to tip it a little bit to get it to drop down in there. Put all six of those in there. Then you have your foam blocks left. They're a tight fit down in here. What I normally do is just put them in your hand and squeeze them together, shrink them up a little. Stuff them in here. This is where you can really press up against there and hold it tight so it doesn't go anywhere. Because you see, you know, that's gonna roll on you. I'll put that in there. Put it in there tight. They're not going anywhere. Now the engines don't roll, but I put these in there anyway, just to keep them nice and snug. Biggest thing I worry about when I'm transporting my stuff is once my trunk is loaded, getting rear-ended by some idiot on the freeway. Okay, uh, no matter how strong this box is, that isn't going to protect me. So, we'll get those all in there. And then you're going to have three pieces of strip foam left over. We just put those in there on the top. That way, in case you hit a bump in your car or whatever, you know, they're protected on top so they don't bang into the top of the lid. Just 
just like that. Put your lid on, you're ready to go. Piece of cake. I know it's common sense, it's an empty box, it's got some foam in it. You saw me put two engines there, they're completely protected in less than five minutes. Um, I'd like to see anybody do that with their Lionel manufacturer's box. It's going to take you more than five minutes just to do one of them. And these are just as safe to take your stuff to the club, store it under your layout, whatever you're going to do with it. Check it out on the website, oscalehauler.com. Um, there's the car hauler, holds passenger cars, freight cars, the locomotive hauler. $30. I have a special with uh, one locomotive hauler and two car boxes for $110. Depending on what you order, this locomotive box will come completely assembled. The lid, the base, everything, the foam inside. Um, if you order a few different items, generally I'll ship most of this flat. I'll build the lid and put everything inside of it, so you'll have to do a little assembly once you get a hold of it. And then uh, load them up, haul your trains to the show. Store them under the layout, the same thing when you, when you get to the show and you want to run them again. The easiest way to get them out of here is take all your foam out. I don't try to pull these out of here because it'll just catch the foam and pull it out. So I just take all the foam out. Just the reverse order of the way you put it in there. Take it all out. You're ready to go. No towels, no diapers, no uh, plastic tubs, no paper copy boxes. I know uh, these are very similar to baseball card storage boxes. They're just bigger. They're designed to hold more equipment. They're heavy duty. And it should, uh, it should protect your equipment no matter where you're going to take it or how long you're going to store it. This foam is top of the line. It's not craft foam. It will not degrade. It will not turn color. I've used the craft foam from Michaels. You buy it, it's green. A couple years, it turns brown. You buy yellow foam, it turns brown. Um, that stuff sticks over time, it'll stick to the paint. This stuff, no matter how long you leave it in here, is not gonna stick to your paint. You can leave it in storage, you know, for a long time and not have to worry about it. this foam breaking down, turning colors, or sticking to the paint. I've had that happen before with the craft uh, foam. Had stuff in a box for a long time and uh, it didn't last, stuck to the paint, pulled some letters and numbers off whatnot. So this is not your everyday Michaels, uh, Joanne kind of craft foam. Our trains are intricate models. They're very expensive. They have a lot of detail. It's worth the $30 for the box. You know, I got two engines in here. You guys know how much these things cost. I don't think $30 is unreasonable for quick safe storage or transportation for your O-Scale trains. Check them out on the website oscalehauler.com. Thank you.